So I'm Anton Haas and I'm a product manager with the Google Distributed Cloud team. So what you can see here is we have a, a booth for Google Distributed Cloud AirGap, which is in, a, in you know, a, a short way to think about it is basically a way for you to own your own private cloud in a fully disconnected environment so that industries in highly regulated spaces, you know, being financial industry, healthcare, or even intelligence, defense, and the government can get the best of the Google Cloud, but in their own secure and fully disconnected environment. And so here you can see what this actually looks like, which is this, the, the, here you can see an actual rack for the Google Distributed Cloud air gap. And so minimal footprint that we recommend to get started is four of these in your own data center, and they will include all the essential services for you to run a full cloud experience, including compute, storage, networking, security, and even AI services from Google, uh, from Vertex. And so this is the form factor that you have, you know, on your data center side. But the, the, uh, the new thing that we're also announcing is this little guy over here, which is our new appliance form factor, which is for those scenarios where in addition to have your own private data center, you also need to bring some essential services on the field. Think of a disaster recovery scenario, for example. The city that you're operating was hit by a tsunami or an earthquake, and you need to run some essential AI services, for example, image recognition, so you can assess the damage. Obviously, because you were hit by a natural disaster, your whole infrastructure is down. You don't have internet, you don't have power, and other things. What this small appliance form factor allow you to do is, you can bring those essential services from your GDC cloud, put them on the back of a truck with a small generation, because this thing only takes standard household power, and bring them on the go with you anywhere you need them. Now, in addition to that, the other thing that we're showcasing today is one of the AI solutions that is fully compatible with GDC AirGap, which is our Gen AI search packet solution. So I'm gonna pretend I'm some I'm a cybersecurity officer in the financial industry. But you can obviously imagine that the same experience that you see here, you could apply the same thing to any other industry simply by loading their data instead of the financial demo data we're using here. And so in this scenario, you know, I'm a cybersecurity officer in a company called Finfor, which is a company that provides a proprietary solution for financial analysis. By working with our partners, we just received a new set of requirements in French. The first thing that you can do with the new Gen AI search packet solution on GDC is to upload those new requirements so they, be, they then become immediately searchable. So here you can see the user uploading the picture of those requirements. And what's happening behind the scenes automatically is that the system is extracting the text from that image automatically. And then it's also translating all the data that was in French in English. So everyone in your own company, which is based in a US market, can un more easily understand that. Now that the data has been ingested, the second thing that they can do is just to now simply ask the question in natural language. You can simply ask questions in plain English in natural language, and the system will automatically retrieve the data that we just uploaded understand it and summarize it for you in the in a language matching your question so even if the data was originally in french the answer is now in english but next because you know this is running in your full on-prem air gap environment you also have all your uh, other confidential documentation in the same environment and you can ask more complex questions that combine this new information plus all the information all the other information that you already have available in this case, what we want to know is, hey, these new requirements that we just received, are they compatible with my existing solution? Because we have all the technical specifications for those solutions preloaded into the system. Yeah. So once again, because this is a generative AI conversational experience, you can just naturally follow up and ask that same follow-up question. And here what you can see is that this, uh, what Gemma is able to do is to compare all the different data you have preloaded into the system and identify where the gaps are. And here, among those 12 original new requirements, you can see that it can identify three requirements 
sorry, three gaps across requirements 8, 10, and 11. Now, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is that it's not only about easily retrieving information and getting responses, right? It's also about can I verify that the responses are correct, especially in the case of generative AI, because with LLM, hallucinations are always a risk. So the thing that our solution also includes is source link capabilities so that for every answer, you can actually easily navigate back to your original proprietary document and confirm that the information retrieved was correct. In this example, if you paid attention to the previous screen, one of the things the system identified was a gap regarding security tests. And what the answer basically says is, hey, your solution seems to have security tests, but it doesn't provide any information on the frequency of those tests. And by checking the source, here we can see that according to this technical specification, that's actually correct. Because the security tests are indeed mentioned in our technical diagram, but there is no information regarding their frequency. And now for those of you who are curious about, hey, this all sounds great, but how does it actually work behind the scene? This is the full diagram of everything that's included in this out-of-box solution. The few things that, that are important to highlight is that this is an end-to-end -end solution to enable generative AI search and retrieval augmented generation. So it starts with a few components that allows you to easily onboard your own proprietary data to feed the system. Then, because of the Vertex AI models, which are also preloaded into GDC, the multimodal data is all automatically transformed into text and then embedded by an embedding model, so it becomes seamlessly searchable. After that's done ahead of time, we move to the second green track at the bottom, which is what happens in real time is solution also comes, uh, comes along with a chat interface where you can enter queries in plain English. Those queries are embedded using the same model that we use to embed your data. The query is matched to your own proprietary data so we can find the relevant documents. Then your, the relevant data that, that we found using AlloyDB Omni vector search, which is now also supported in GDC area, is combined with your original query. We pass everything to the LLM, which then combines the LLM capabilities themselves plus your actual proprietary data to provide not only a response, but a response that's grounded in your data and that's accurate. And so this was, a, I know I talked a lot, this was basically a whirlwind tour of the Gen AI search packet solution for Google Distributed Cloud AirGap. What I'm really excited about is, you know, just seeing about everything that's happening everywhere across industry. Because in the day-to-day, -day, we just, you know, we, we kind of get siloed into what we're working on and the scenarios that we're enabling. But just getting to participate with this event and just expanding my scope and getting the sense of everything else that, that's going on is just, you know, reinvigorating and exciting. Because, you know, you just get that sense that, yeah, you're in a small cog in a way bigger world.